Hey everyone, this is Earl Roy Hugo and today I'm showing a demonstration of graph traversal in searching. Specifically, we're traversing and searching these predefined graphs 1 and 2 using Depth First Search or DFS and Breadth First Search or BFS. Depth First Search goes deep first into one node before checking the other nodes and it does that recursively using stacks. So if we click on depth first reversal button here, starting from point one of graph one, the depth first reversal is one, two, four, five, three, six, and seven. All right. Breadth first reversal or breadth first search, on the other hand, uh, it operates layer by layer, and it visits the closest nodes first before going deeper, and it does that using queues. So if we click on breadth first reversal you'll see that the order in which the nodes are visited is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, and 7. All right, so let's look at my code. This is the, the application interface, and this is uh, my code. The first part is actually just the buttons, so we won't look into that. Uh, let's dive right into the representation of the graphs. So graph 1, so I represented the vertices using an array of integers. And the relationship between the, the nodes, I represented that using an adjacency matrix as shown here. So where you see a 1, it means that there exists a connection. So 1 is connected to 2 and 3, uh, while 2 is connected to 4, and so on for the other vertices. I also created a hash table, as you can see here. So this hash function allows me to confirm if a vertex has already been visited in just one step. Okay? Now, this is uh, my representation for graph 2. It's very similar, although I just use an uh, array of characters. This is the adjacency matrix, and this is the hash function uh, for that one. Okay, this is uh, the DFS stack initialization, and this is the VFS queue initialization. Okay, so let's look at DFS reversal. Uh, DFS reversal is performed recursively, as you'll see later on. And specifically, what it does is, it looks for a connected node using the adjacency matrix. It checks if uh, that node, the vertex, has already been visited using the hash function. It, if uh, not, it, then it's, it gets added to the stack and then recursively goes deeper. Okay, So it just goes deeper and deeper until there is no more path. And then it, uh, it gets popped out of the stack and goes out of the recursion and just uh, continue on until there's no more vertex to pop out of the stack, okay? Now for BFS traversal, uh, BFS traversal is uh, not recursive in nature, uh, but it follows a similar uh, pattern. So here what it does is, again, it looks for a connected node using uh, the edge, uh, edge graph one or the adjacency matrix. It checks if a node has already been visited and then it gets queued okay so the difference here is that it checks the, all the nodes first and then queues them okay afterwards uh, the current vertex is uh, marked as visited and the pointer of the queue is pointed to the next one so it moves to the next one that has been queued okay now, uh, for searching, uh, searching and DFS or BFS actually just follows what I did for the traversal, except that uh, when the target vertex is found, my uh, code actually exits the, uh, the recursion or the iteration for BFS, and it will just display up to a point where the target is found. So let's look at that. All right, so we've already seen graph one traversal. Let's look at graph two. So DFS for graph two is A, B, E, C, D. And actually, breadth first traversal is the same, A, B, E, C, D. Okay, so notice that I provided an option to start somewhere else. So let's say we start at graph one starting point six. Depth first traversal is six, four, five, two, seven. Okay, let's move on to searching. Searching is the same as DFS, but it steps out of the recursion once it finds it so it's one two four in this case uh, if it's not there then it's not okay then uh, we can also do that for for graph two and of course if it's not there then it's not thank you